I'm going to introduce Filipino product that my family love. Pinakauna ay Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to introduce Filipino product that my family love. I usually bring a lot of Filipino product when I go, go back to Japan. There are thousand choices in the Philippines and may mga sikat ng pasal mga choices ng pasalibon ay dry mango, uh, dry coconuts, mga dry fruits or may chicharon or otap and hopia mga, mga ganyan. Yun yung mga popular Filipino snack for pasalubo. May mga tatlong Filipino products na sobrang mahilig yung family ko. So, every time na I go back to Japan, I usually bring these three. So, pinakauna ay this one. So, yung mga Nescafe na yun, syempre, available naman yun sa Japan. Yung pero, uh, when they visit the Philippines and they tasted the Nescafe coffee in the Philippines, iba daw yung lasa. Mas masarap daw yung Nescafe coffee sa Filipinas. Actually, sa akin din, uh, mas mahilig ka kung Nescafe coffee sa Filipinas kasi mas tasty, mas mula. And sa Japan, parang ganito yung sashe, parang marit talaga yung sashe. And most of Japan, Japanese love sa coffee. That's also one of the reasons why mahilig yung Nescafe coffee. Hindi kayo expect na uh, Nescafe coffee yung one of the options for pasalubon, di ba? Yung family ko mahilig talaga yung Nescafe coffee. And nowadays, uh, madaming flavor na Nescafe coffee. So, every time na may bagong flavor, I try to bring. And then, there are also another brand. You know, copy ko, ganyan. I also try, try to bring ibang brand na coffee sa Filipinas. That is the first one. And second one is... Ha! So second one is this one. Kojic Acid. So, walang ganyan product sa Japan. So, uh, name mismo parang Japanese pero diba, walang ganto. They also try Kojic Acid in the Philippines. Sabi ni mami ko, anong klase ng sabon na to? Tapos sabi ko, Kojic Acid soap. After, after na yon parang every time na uwi ako sa Japan, sabi niya sa akin, pabili naman yung uh, Kojic Acid Soap. Okay, sige. Kasi it's cheap. Tapos siguro may mga, may mga mas magandang sabon sa Japan. Pero mahilig silang Kojic Acid Soap. So sabi niya sa akin, mas fresh daw yung uh, feeling after using yung Kojic Acid Soap. So parang uh, fresh and parang smooth. Pero, according to them, hindi sila mahilig gamit ng Kojic Acid during the winter kasi sabi nila, parang na, nag-feel sila na sobrang dry. So, I usually bring it for summer season. So, the last one. The last one is... Pa! So, last one is... Boiba One. This is also my favorite Filipino snack. I brought it when I went back to Japan. I put it on my backpack para may snack ako sa airplane. So, pero hindi ako kumain doon. Tapos, yung buksan ko na yung luggage na to. Tapos, sabi nila, anong tawag na snack na to? Tapos, pwede ba, pwede ba dikman? I, I let them taste. And sabi nila, uy, masarap nang ganito. Yung boy ba one. Yun. Kaya they love, uh, they tasted the boy ba one and they love the taste. Yun kasi isip ko dahil may choices, boy ba one kasi. It could be, it could be snack and it also could be brutal, di ba? That's why they love, um, especially yung my dad ko, uh, yung dad, mahilig yung, mahilig yung boy ba one as a brutal. So, yun. Yun yung dahilan. Tapos, nowadays, uh, madaming flavors. 
So I think the my family already tasted all the all the flavors and mahilig yung original yung dirty and then they also love the sweet corn yeah they also love yun yung mga matamis and the boy bawang kasi may mga karis na sachet ba diba? so you can distribute to the a lot of people to let them taste the Filipino snack that's all for today uh, thank you for watching so meron ako madaming video about my life and Quentin Yoshi so if you like my video please thumb up and if you don't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel to watch the latest video so thank you so, thank you so much and see you on next video bye